Hi guys, uh, I just recently bought um, a Huina 580 um, excavator um, radar control and it comes with a standard bucket which is one of these on the end of it um, so I thought I'd make um, or design and make a ripper which basically a ripper is one of these so obviously it retrofits onto the end of the, um, the arm and it allows you to basically rip the ground up with this kind of like claw feature. You can buy these commercially uh, but I thought I'd, I'd make my own. So what I've done, um, I've designed one on a computer and 3D printed it and this is the result here um, which basically, I'll get that to focus, it's basically he's made out of carbon fibre. It simply bolts on to the end of the, of the boom two bolts uh, through there and there. I've actually done one in PLA, printed it in PLA which I've got on the um, excavator as you can see here. Um, as you see these two, these two bolts that go through and it just bolts onto, onto the end basically. I actually made these holes under size um, because I was going to make this out of aluminium and then um, tap it so I can just screw the bolts in. Um, but that's for another video. So I'm going to put this on Thingiverse so people can print it if they want. Whoever's got one of these and it'll fit. Basically you need to drill these holes out a little bit more. Um, I've used um, a reamer for that. I'll put a link to the description in Banggood. My camera won't focus. There you go. I'll put the link to the description uh, on Banggood for one of these because these are really brilliant tools, you know, for reaming out bigger holes. So that's the um, the ripper on the end of it. Um, like I said, I put this on Thingiverse once I've um, uploaded this video. And what I'll do, um, I'll show you how to um, fit this on here, or, or what we'll do, what we'll do, I'll change this one. So. First thing we need to do is to uh, take the bolts out. It's actually a bit tight. There we go. So that's the one I made out of um, out of PLA, and as you can see, I've been using it, and it is quite strong actually. There's a little bit of flex to it, um, but it does rip the ground up, and it hasn't brought yet, and that's PLA, so it is pretty strong. So what we'll do, we'll fit the um, carbon fibre one. So a square bolt, which is this one here. Slots through. There we go. And the top one just slides in there. A little bit easier to go in. Get our um, lock nuts on. Okay, so there's the um, carbon fibre, carbon fibre made ripper on the end. Um, let's have a look at that. Oh, 
Okay, I'll do old, um, I'll do a video um, of this working, ripping the ground up hopefully. So that's all Luke.